Good morning. How are you? All right, so we have a completely different setup again with Facebook this morning, and I'm not seeing my, oh, there's my comments. I'm going to drop a couple of links into the comments for you. So give me just a second here. <clears throat> there's one, and here's the other one. Um, we're going to be using these today. So I was just saying that Facebook has a completely different setup for me again today, and I have a completely different setup for you guys. Um, good morning, Stevie. How are you? Okay. All right. So I don't see any way to make this um, full screen, which is what I like. Uh, okay, I'm just checking out this new setup here. And you guys have a new setup today, too. Look at this. We can't always do this. I'm going to try this today, and we're going to see how it goes. I know the videos um, over the past, like, especially last week, was kind of sad. Um, I didn't realize it at the time. Um, I'm going to switch you around here. We're just going to play with this. I had it all set up, and then I wanted to put those um, links in. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So, good morning, crew. Now, the only problem is, is that I can't really see the comments as much, so I have to kind of lean over to see the comments. Um, you guys can let me know if the audio isn't good. Um, unfortunately, I can't always tell the quality. The new setup looks good. Thanks, Stevie. I know, right? This is a... Uh, unfortunately, I can't always do this, um, especially for cooking. Um, like whenever we're making ricotta, ricotta is kind of messy. Um, some of the stuff we'll be able to use a hot plate and do it back here. But um, yeah, so I can't always see how the uh, quality of the video or the audio is um, until I watch this afterwards. So if, uh, okay, good. All right, thanks, Stevie. I should uh, do this with you before we uh, start, so then I'll know. But anyway, okay. So I think it's just a private TV show right now. You're the only one on here as far as I can see. And uh, we're going to get started. We're going to do sourdough starter. And because sourdough starter takes about five minutes, um, we're going to make, we're going to talk about some sourdough stuff. And then we're going to make um, some sourdough banana bread. I'm going to do muffins. Um, so sourdough banana muffins. But you can do bread. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Let's get going. Now. Before I get started, um, I just want to say this is not my um, area of expertise. Oh, good, Kim. Hi. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So it's funny, though. Sometimes it says it tells me when people join and other times it doesn't. So thank you for letting me know you're here. Okay. Sourdough starter is not my area of expertise, but I've been doing it now for a little bit and um it seems pretty easy. It's There is a science to it, which I don't use, but I'm going to teach you how to do that, and then I'm going to tell you how I do it, because that's that's what I do. I, I do stuff the right way, and then I find my cheat ways to do it. And then um, after we make the starter and we talk about um, how to use that starter, how to feed that starter, and um, what to do with your discard, then we're going to make some muffins, okay? Well, we're going to make them up until we put them in the oven. And then, you know, like normal, I'll take a picture of it afterwards and post it on Facebook. And you guys can ooh and ah and tell me how wonderful it looks. All right. Okay. So let's get started. What you need to start your sourdough is you need flour and you need water. And that's pretty much it. There's no yeast involved because um, what's going to happen is you're almost fermenting the flour and it's going to uh, use the natural yeast in the flour. So with that said... What you want to start with, technically, and I've given you two links. One is the King Arthur um, link to sourdough, which is what I use um, to kind of base mine off of. So I originally bought my sourdough starter from King Arthur whenever I was in Vermont a couple months ago. But um, it seems pretty easy to do and to start, so we're going to do it. Um, so it's suggested in most sourdough um, starter recipes that you use a whole wheat flour or I have a rye flour, but um, pumpernickel, rye, something that has um, that is, hasn't been processed as much. And um, but with that said, <clears throat> whenever you feed your starter, you're going to use all purpose starter or all purpose flour. I mean, 
So you can use all purpose, uh, but uh, good morning, Rick. How are you? See, it tells me when some people join and when some people down. I'm still getting used to this. Oh, and see, my comments aren't scrolling. This is, oh, thank goodness you guys are not, you, you know, you're not looking for professional level here. Okay, so um, you can use all purpose flour to start your uh, sourdough starter with. It might just take it a little longer to get to the process of uh, being active and bubbly and live and all that stuff. So don't run out and buy special flour. Um, you know, we're trying to do this, um, all these things cost effectively. So if you have, all you have is all purpose, use it. If you do have whole wheat, use that. If you have a rye or a pumpernickel, or I imagine you could even use um, like a buckwheat, something that just hasn't been processed as much, okay? So we're just using the natural yeast that will come from fermenting. So um, let's get started. All right, so what you wanna do technically, I'm gonna start mine with whole wheat, okay? And um, just because I use all purpose and um, I just kinda wanna see the difference. So I'm gonna experiment here. What you technically wanna do is you wanna weigh out everything. And so it's an, kind of an exact science in terms of you wanna make sure that you're using equal parts flour and equal parts water. However, I kind of feel like that once you get used to, um, this, is, this is Georgie, by the way. Georgie's making an appearance today. Um, and it's important to name your um, sourdough starter once it gets going and it's active, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll down because I feel like I might be missing some comments eventually. Oh, I am. Uh, oh, hi, Deborah. Oh, Joan. Nice. Okay, Samantha. Okay, great. See, this thing doesn't scroll for me all the time. So again, we're not professional level here. I'd like to be Martha Stewart, but Martha Stewart has a team who runs the camera for her. Unfortunately, my team is working today. Um, okay, so it's important to name your starter, and eventually the name will come to you once it starts getting active and stuff. I kind of feel that way about chickens, too. So, um, where was I? Um, you will eventually see this is what happens is I get sidetracked and then I, I forget to go back to where um, I was. Okay, let's just go and it'll come to me. So you're gonna eat, you're gonna measure out, I think what I was saying actually was like, I'm used to Georgie now and I know kind of what Georgie needs and how um, much flour and water. So I don't actually measure it anymore. Um, you know, I don't weigh it out, I mean. So we're gonna weigh it out though, because we want 113 grams of flour and you're gonna have an equal part of water. So that's 113 grams of flour and 113 grams of um, <clears throat> water. Okay, so all I've done so far, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Whoa, look at this. It's kind of, I like the counter though in the kitchen because it's higher and it's a, like it's an easier like height for me. But um, that's okay, because I kind of have to lean over to see what's going on over there anyway. All right, so I'm going to tear this. I've got my bowl on there. I've got it set to grams. And I'm going to use whole wheat flour. Um, like I said earlier, for those of you who um, might have been a little late getting on, you want um, to use a flour that hasn't been processed as much, because then you're going to get those more natural yeast. But if all you have is all-purpose flour, that's perfectly fine. Use your all-purpose, no big deal. So I'm on zero grams, and I'm gonna weigh out to 113. All right, this is gonna take me a few minutes if I don't, see, this is why, did you see that? I just made a mess. This is why it's better in the kitchen, but I love this setup, because I think that it's, you know, the sun with that window. I love having that window, but the sun with that window was a bit much. Um, Although today is overcast. Okay, so I'm at 106. I'm going to go real careful. I'm going to be quiet for just a second until, you know, sometimes it helps to concentrate. Perfect. Nope. Nope. I went too far. Okay. See, I wasn't concentrating. I went too, too far the other way. Oh, boy, guys. Help me focus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we go. On the nose. Okay. So what you want is some sort of container that um i like these big guys um these are plastic so if that's a concern for you you're going to try to get like a crock or something what you want is something big enough that you're going to add in your flour and your water you're going to stir it up really good you're going to see all of this and then you want it to have room to to double so that's really what you're looking for 
and it's going to take a few days whenever you first start this. You're going to keep watching it, and, like, it's probably not going to do much in the beginning, but then, like, after, like, five to seven days, you're going to see it bubbling and, um, you know, starting to be active. And we're going to talk about all that. This might be longer than 30 minutes. I'm like, this is going to take us five minutes. What am I going to do? Okay, now here's the fun part, right? You guys know how I am about this stuff that I'm really see. That's all right. We're going to do the best we can, guys. This is just, you know, us doing this on camera. And you guys are going to be much better at this, okay? So I probably don't have 113 grams in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay. But we're going to pretend like that all went in there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just making sure there's no more comments. I'm going to tear this. Okay. And I'm going to hopefully have 113 grams of water in this. So this is the other problem with not having the kitchen, right? Is that if we run out of water, we run out of water. Okay. I'm at 80. Oh, 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 stopped at 111. <laughs> that was going to be really tough getting that water back into here, as it's going to be tough getting it into there. I should have gotten a funnel. I should have thought about this. That's okay. Okay. 113. All right. So we're going to add this into here. Do you guys hear Anna barking? I have like a little bit of yuckies in there. Okay, I'm gonna pour that right in there. Okay, done. We're done with these two. We're done with the scale. Okay, I'm gonna put these two over here. <clears throat> All right, now what you wanna do is you want to um, make sure that you stir this up really, really well and that there's no dry flour in here. So this is where it starts to get like, you know, you're supposed to do the equal parts and stuff, but um, sometimes you might need a little bit more water, right? Because this is looking really, really dry to me. And you actually want it to be kind of moist. You're seeing this? See, I still have all that on the bottom. I'll tell you, the new setup's kind of throwing me off a little bit. You know, you get in your comfort zone, right? And then all of a sudden you throw yourself into a different place and it's like, it takes a little bit to get used to that. I'm gonna add just a smidge more water because what might've happened, is whenever I added more um, flour to compensate for what came out, I might have added too much, okay? All right, how you guys doing? Everybody had a good week? I had a great week. Let me just walk over, excuse me, let me just walk over here and look at my comments. Okay, great. Did you guys have a good week? This week was good. I think, you know, returning to somewhat more normal state, um, uh, whatever that means has helped but i also took some time off and um you know i got back on the tractor i don't know if you guys have been following along over on instagram but um i got back on the tractor i still feel like this is really really dry so we're gonna just add a little bit more Whew, these muffins i can't wait so hungry i gotta start eating before i do this okay i'm still not feeling good about this guys I'm not feeling good about this at all do you see i still have a little bit of dry on the bottom okay so basically what you're going to do is you're going to mix that up and, oh, okay, you want it to be a little wet. So like, just to orientate you guys to where I'm at, normally we're on the other side of the house in the kitchen, right? And it has that big, huge window that overlooks the backyard, which is where like the hotel units are and the chickens are right there. This is the crafting office room. This is where I make all my magic happen. The distracting thing is, is that all my bird feeders, that's the front porch. I see my flag. I see the river. So I keep looking out there and I'm just like, I mean, I'm going to see like chickadees. We had hummingbirds show up, red, red breasted gross beaks. So I'm like a little distracted because I'm like, wow, like it, you know, it's just nice out there. Okay. So this is not really where I want it to be. You want this to be like it, you don't want it to be dry. It's not going to do anything if it's dry. I'm going to keep adding water. This, so what I do, and we'll talk about this because we're going to feed Georgie. We're going to, we're going to take him and use some of him and then we're going to feed him. Okay. And he was named by the mister um, after George Jackson. So I couldn't just call him George. I had to call him Georgie. And then, um, so, oh. What is going on here? Okay. You know what? I think it's the whole wheat flour. What I do is I measure out like a cup of flour 
and a half a cup of water. So that's what this equates to really, is it's a cup of flour to half a cup of water. But I'm wondering if it's the whole wheat flour, um, which is, you know, a little drier, so it's not as fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna add just a smidge more. And you're gonna kinda know, cause well, especially after you start doing this, obviously. Once we start looking at these guys, you're gonna kinda get the idea. Okay, all right, that's better to me. All right, this is what happens with live TV, right? How are you guys doing? I don't hear anybody talking. I'm down to six people. All right, everybody good? Tell me about your week. What'd you do? I got back on the tractor. I was talking about that. Okay, so let me walk over here. I want you to kind of... All right, I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you hear that? Let me be quiet for a second. You guys hear that? Here, here, how it's kind of wet. That's what you want. Okay, so we've gotten our sourdough starter to a good spot here. I kind of like how he was like a little smishy, right? That's technical, technical professional term. Okay, so what's going to happen is nothing. Nothing's going to happen for like 24 hours. You're going to get some cheesecloth. Where I like this muslin, um, you can see how much I've used it. It's clean. I run it through the um, I run it through the uh, washer and dryer, and then you're just going to do like this. Sometimes, you know, I gather it just so I can see. And you're going to put it in a warm place. You're not going to refrigerate it. You want it to be in a warm place. My warm place for Georgie now is um, on top of the refrigerator. It's perfect. It's a little dark up there. It's warm. It's getting the warmth from the uh, – see, let me see what we got here. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Thank you. Great. Awesome. Okay. So um, the refrigerator has like, you know, it's a little dark, but it's warm because it's getting the warmth from it running. And that's a really good spot for this. You want it to be warm. Okay. So that's it. You're going to let this set for 24 hours. And then in 24 hours, you are going to um, discard. Okay. Half of it. And you're going to add in. Um, so after you start with your whole wheat, I would switch to all purpose. Or if you start with all purpose, just stay with all purpose. You only want this to start, okay? So then you're gonna discard half of it. It's probably not gonna do anything. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, it didn't, nothing worked. It's gonna take a few days, okay? It's gonna take you like a week to get it to do something. So you're gonna discard half of it. Don't throw it away. You're gonna put it into a discard. Look, this is all my discard from like the past like couple of weeks, okay? We're gonna talk about this too. You're going to put it into a container. You're going to put that, the discard, into the refrigerator, and you're going to think about that in a couple of days. Actually, um, probably you don't want to save your discard until it actually starts doing something. So that's a good point. I have instructions that I'm going to post on my blog afterwards. I've started um, putting this on the blog and then writing out all the steps and the tips and the recipes and that, you know, links and all that good stuff. So I'll do that. I'll update my um, thing. You don't want to really save your discard the first couple of days because it's not going to do much, okay? But after it starts really getting active, then you're going to save your discard because you're going to be able to do stuff with that. So once it gets bubbly and stuff, you're just going to start, like, saving that. But every day, you're going to take half of it. You're going to discard it. You're going to feed it. You're one cup of flour to half a cup of um, water. Weigh it out. If you're really technical, I don't weigh it out. I just, I know that Georgie, that's what he likes, okay? Um, so, you're going to eventually get like a, you know, you're going to want like a bigger container because it's going to get really bubbly and it's going to like double in size. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. Um, and so, do you have any questions? Let me, let me ask that. Do you have any questions on feeding your discard or feeding your starter? You're going to do, you're going to weigh out 113 grams, which is roughly a cup of flour to half a cup of water. You're going to add more until it gets that nice kind of, um, you know, smushy sound. And it's, it's a little wet. You don't want it like wet, wet, but you don't want it dry, dry either. So there's that fine line. Okay. I mean, that's okay. Like if it, it's going to take you like, seriously, like a week of taking this every day and you've got to um so what i suggest to do is you can always put a piece of tape on here and you can write the date and you can write the time that you have fed your uh starter and then you can also draw a line so then you kind of know where you're at and see how much it's doing once it finally doubles in size after you fed it and it's like one to four hours after you fed it 
So like Georgie here, I feed him and within four hours, he's doubled in size. So he's good to go. He is active. He wants to, you know, be used into stuff, okay? So let me just come over here. This thing isn't scrolling, I'm sorry. Uh, my starter is more liquidy. I'm wondering if I should start over. No. Okay, no, no, no. Let's talk about that, Jackie. So here's what happened with Georgie. Georgie was way, way watery, right? I was because I was doing like a cup. I think I was doing a cup of flour and a cup of water to begin with, and it was way too much. You so what I think is because it's alive, I think that they tell you what they want. So if it's too liquidy, it doesn't want that much liquid, right? So just cut back your liquid. So I don't know, tell me how much um this thing is not scrolling, people. Um Good morning, Lori. I'm glad you're here. Yay. I just saw your uh, message this morning. So, Jackie, how much, depending on how much you feed it in terms of um, flour and liquid, so all I would do is I would just cut my liquid back um, because it it's just telling you that it doesn't want that much liquid. That's all. They tell you this these things, right? Okay. So, try that. Try cutting back your water um, and see how that goes over the next few days, and I think you're going to see a, a difference because... Georgie was way liquidy and then I cut that back so that now I know it's a cup of flour to half a cup of water is exactly what he likes okay so you can mark this you're going to just keep taking for the first week you're actually going to discard it's it really stinks right so um to, to it feels wasteful but it's not going to be active you want to start saving your discard once it becomes active okay so over the next five to seven days each day you're going to take, you're going to discard half of it, you're going to feed it a cup of, roughly a cup of flour, half a cup of water, and you're going to let it do its thing. You can mark it so you can see where it's at. I would just take a little piece of tape or something or write it down somewhere. The time is not an exact science, although they say it is, but some, like I fed him, I started feeding him at night and then I realized I wanted, or in the morning, and then I realized I wanted him to be ready to go for this morning. So I, I then switched like let him go like an extra day or whatever and then i fed him at night so then i could get him ready for this morning does that make sense so okay that's your that's your um yes, I'm scrolling. okay what else we got okay great oh, hi, uh, when you discard half do you pour it and measure to determine what to discard well that's a good question kim Technically, yes. Technically, you would say, you know, you could weigh, you know, you would have to have your weight or you could just take it all out. I don't. I eyeball it. I just look at it and I'm like, oh, that looks like half. And then um, I just feed it again. And then you'll know, like, once you feed it, if it's too dry, then you needed more liquid. If it's too wet, then you needed more flour. So technically, yes, you should probably measure it out and you should weigh it out. Um if that's the exact science with it, right? But if you know me now, um, you'll know that I don't do that. I just I just eyeball it and I kind of take my little, um, you know my, how much I love these things, right? I kind of almost eyeball it and divide it in half and just pour it into my discard thing, okay? But technically, yes, you should weigh it out and then go from there and then weigh out your flour, weigh out your water and then put it in here, okay? Um. Okay, so that's your sourdough starter. That's easy peasy, right? You're just measuring out some stuff. You're making sure it looks like, you know, it looks good. And then um, you're going to cover it. It wants to breathe. So um, the one thing I noticed was um, whenever I originally did Georgie, I would cover him completely with plastic wrap. And then I always set this on top just to give it a little extra darkness, right? I don't know that it helps. <clears throat> <clears throat> but Georgie wasn't doing too well until I opened up Georgie's side like that a little bit, right? And then I just kind of do like that. Then I put it on top of the refrigerator and he loves it. He loves it. He eats it up. Did you see what I did there? All right, here we go back to the comments. Okay, you're welcome, Kim. No problem. Um, okay. I'm gonna set our new guy aside. And um, you know what we'll do is we'll keep up with him on uh, here on Facebook. We'll keep uh, checking back in on him every day and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do 
I don't really use the Facebook stories, but maybe I'll do like the Facebook stories or something every day so you can kind of see how he's doing. Or she, maybe this is a she, I don't know. Okay, so now we're done with all of that, right? Let's talk about um, using our um, sourdough starter and then we can talk about our discard. So like I said, all this is, this is all my discard from the past couple of weeks. I put it in this container, I put the lid on it, I shove it in the refrigerator. Cause that's the thing about sourdough starter is that you can actually, even Georgie has been in the refrigerator before, whenever I'm like, I don't have time, I'm not baking anything with sourdough right now. I, you know, I just don't have the time or whatever to deal with Georgie because it's kind of like if you're feeding him every day, like in the, initially you're going to be using a lot of flour because you're going to be feeding him every single day. Now, the instructions I gave you from King Arthur, they say after a certain point, like day six, seven, um, to start feeding it twice a day. I didn't do that because I'm like, it, it uses a lot of flour to get this going. Then every day after that, you're feeding this guy. You're discarding half, you're feeding it a cup of flour. So that's a lot of flour. And especially now, whenever flour is kind of scarce or it's starting to come, you know, we're starting to get more flour now. But it's kind of hard to find. Do you really want to be using a cup of flour every day if you're not using your starter? So no. So just stick him in the room. So just cover him up or her, whichever one you put him right in the right in the refrigerator, right? Then you're ready to start. You're like, okay, I have time this week. So I want to make, the only thing is, is like, if you're, if you want to make something today and he's in the refrigerator, he might not be ready to, to use today because he needs to come to room temperature. Then you need to feed him. You need to discard half because I'm just going to put him right in here without discarding. I'm going to put him right in. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to discard half of it. You can discard half before. It doesn't matter. He's just going to go right in. And then you're going to get him to room temperature. If you haven't discarded, you're going to discard half. He's going to be liquidy. So you're going to stir him up. You're going to put your flour and your water back in here. And then he needs to double in size before he's ready to use. So that might take you a little while. So you might not. So if you're thinking about this, you put it in the refrigerator. You're like, I'm going to make muffins tomorrow. Pull him out the day before, get him all ready. The next day, he's good to go. Same with your discard. I see I have, let's see what else we got here. Uh, how long will the discard stay good? Forever. Forever. So um, that's a good question. That's on my list that I forgot to mention. So technically what you would want to do, you have Georgie in the refrigerator. He's, he's dormant. You're like, I don't have time. And it's going to be a couple of weeks. Technically what you want to do is you want to take him out once a week. Same with your discard. You kind of want to take them out and feed them like once a week. I don't, and they're fine. Like this discard, what's gonna happen is, you're, it's called discard, you're not gonna use it as regular sourdough starter, okay? You're gonna find recipes for discard. There's waffles, there's pancakes, there's, um, there's crackers, there's like bread. I mean like everything you can imagine you can use your discard and you're just going to do a Google search. And I, whenever I put this on my blog, I'll do some of that search for you. And I'll give you, I'll give you links to recipes for both the sourdough and for the discard. Um, and you can experiment and let me know how it goes. But so you're not feeding this guy, but here's the thing. This is why I keep my discard. This is what people sell, right? Whenever they're like, I will sell you some of my sourdough starter. They're selling you the discard. Because all you're going to do is you're going to measure this out just like you would your normal. You're going to say half a cup of this. You're going to weigh it out. It's 113 grams, however much that comes out to be. And then you're going to feed it. And it's going to come back and be alive again. All right? So you, that's why I keep my discard. Because I'm like, what happens if I use all of this in a recipe? What if, I, what if it calls for two cups of sourdough starter and this is exactly two cups? Well, now I'm kind of screwed, right? I, now I don't want to start again. Keep your discard. Take it out, weigh it out, feed it, give it a couple of days, let it double in size. You're good to go. You got a starter again. All right. So that's why you don't ever throw out this stuff. Plus, it just feels really wasteful. Okay. Discard makes a great. Oh, there you go. See, that's why you're here, Elizabeth, is to let us know. You told me that before. The tempura batter. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, you can use this discard for literally everything. Okay. So. All right, 
what else questions? Um, where was I going? We're gonna make some muffins with with Georgie. We're actually gonna use Georgie. We're not gonna use the discard. Um, you guys good with discard? Any more questions about that? Because I think we're gonna put this one aside. I don't name the discard. But um, as you might know, I gave some of my sourdough starter to my friend Diane. She gave some of hers to our friend Sarah. So now technically this is Georgie, then you have Georgie Jr., then you have Georgie the third. So then you have to let your friends know that whenever you're shoving this sourdough starter off on them, that what the name is, right? They can name it whatever they want. I feel like it's chickens and animals in general. Like anything that's alive, it's just gonna tell you what its name is eventually. So maybe I'm just weird. I am weird, but I mean, I think maybe I'm like a little crazier than I originally thought. Okay. Let me just check my notes here. See, this is the funny thing about this setup is, you know, like normally I have like, you you guys might not know this, but I have like a, a milk crate that I sit on the end um, on the counter in the kitchen and I set like either my iPad up there or my laptop and I shove all my notes <clears throat> right underneath. So then all I have to do, this is, see I'm giving away professional secrets here. All I have to do is kind of like slyly go, mm, oh yeah, but today, I don't have a sly way of doing it. So I do have my recipes and I have my, um, so I have written out here, all of this stuff is gonna go right on my blog. So you guys can, and I'll come back and um, whenever I'm done with that and I have the muffins done, then I'll just do a post right here on Facebook and you guys can go right over to it if you so desire, you don't have to. Okay, um, discard, storing starter and discard. I told you about that. So some people say that after their their um, discard or their um, starter has been in the refrigerator for a few weeks, like they go on vacation or whatever, and you know you're not going to hire somebody to come in and like you know do feed your starter or whatever. Although I probably would because I have animals that need to be fed too. So Samantha, hint hint hint, you might be feeding my just my uh, sourdough starter. I'm just kidding. Some people say that whenever they leave for a long time and it's in the refrigerator for a long time, like you know, several weeks without um, being fed, that it never comes back quite the right way. So that's why like occasionally, like I I've left it in there for a couple weeks without feeding it and it's been fine. Let me just check my, uh, let me check my, let me check my comments here. No, it's not. That's completely different. So the friendship, Lori's asking if this is the uh, friendship stuff people share. No, the friendship is an Amish one. <clears throat> and I really don't know anything about it. It's it, it's way more involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. Let me take a sip of water real quick. Sorry about that. Oh. That water is good stuff, man. Okay. No, the uh, friendship it is involved with sugar and yeast and all kinds of things. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, um, the this is just flour water so this is way easier i know nothing about the amish friendship starter okay all right so do you guys have any more questions before we're gonna make we're gonna i'm gonna show you this in action what we're gonna do i'm gonna use my starter in the muffins and then we're gonna come back and i'm gonna show you how i feed georgie because you'll see um how you know how it looks once it once it um is actually active and stuff and then um, we can go from there. These comments, see, they switched my thing again. They said that, um, let's see, I need less involved. <laughs> this is it. Sourdough starter is the way to go then. Flour, water, feed it once a day. Then once it's active, put it in the refrigerator until you, you, the day before you're ready to use it. Pull it out, let it come to room temperature, feed it again. The next day you're ready to go. All right? Okay. So. I gave you this recipe for, um, it's the ultimate sourdough banana bread. I'm gonna make muffins. Um, you can make bread, you can, you know, whatever you wanna do. So and it's pretty easy. It uses brown sugar versus um, white sugar. And um, I've made this before and it's really yummy. Let me just make sure here. So here's like, Facebook just told me that my, um, my browser was out of date, and so I can't use the uh, module we were using before. And so now it's like, you know, how it took me a long time to get used to the other one. So now I have a completely different one, and now the comments don't scroll. So don't worry about it. We're not professional here. Okay. 
Let me see here. Let me just figure this out. I have my mixer here. Um, you probably don't need to see anything about that just because I'm just going to be mixing stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. I need some water this morning. I should have been drinking that instead of coffee, but had I not had my coffee, we probably wouldn't be doing this um, as well as we are so far. So I have bananas, two bananas. They've been in the freezer. They're quite mushy and yummy as they are. They're still a little frozen, but that's okay because we're going to be mixing them and they will um, they'll be fine. Okay. So two bananas or however many bananas you want. You got, you want more? Do more. Um, so I don't put nuts in my bread. Um, you're welcome to do that. Um, the recipe actually doesn't call for nuts, but certainly um, if you want to put some walnuts or anything like that in there, you can. Okay, bananas, sugar, and vanilla. So I have already weighed or uh, measured out stuff. So I have two bananas. I have a um, one and quarter cup of brown sugar. And then, um, I'm gonna put that over there in the discard. So, do you guys make your own vanilla? Super easy. Okay, let me come over here. Let's talk about let's talk about making our own extracts. This is vodka vanilla beans. You take I just take a slew. Then that's a technical term. I take a slew of vanilla beans. I cut them open. You put them in a thing of vodka. You let it sit. Um, you remember how I always tell you to date stuff and how I never date anything? I didn't date this, but. Um, put your little homemade vanilla, put your date on there, and then let it sit for a couple months. You'll know whenever it's ready because it's going to turn really yummy dark brown, okay? Then you're going to open it up, and it's going to go, oh, it smells a little bit like vodka, but it really smells like vanilla, and it smells so good. And these are really good. The mister makes the best rum and coke. Now, I, so not everybody's a drinker. If you're a drinker, let me tell you, coke uh, rum, a good rum, a uh, little bit of homemade vanilla, some fresh nutmeg over the top of it. Oh my goodness, to die for. Okay, let's get back to this. <laughs> Maybe I'll have one of those tonight. I want one and a half teaspoons. So there's one. Let me make sure I got one. Yeah, okay. And then a half. You can go a little extra if you want because it's homemade and it tastes really good. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to mix this. Let me just make sure. Uh, add banana, sugar, vanilla, cream together. All right, we're going to do that. So it's going to get a little loud in here with my mixer because you guys have seen this before. You've seen me do the mixer on there before. All right, whenever we did pasta. So we're going to be doing, um, I updated my um, class list. It's not class, but you know, my demo list. And um, I, I switched some stuff around just because I think fiddleheads might be ready like in the next week or so. So I'm going to do fiddleheads and then we'll do ricotta. And then we're gonna do some pasta infusions where we just take, you know, spinach or whatever, and we're gonna make fancy pasta, as I like to call it. And then um, I think we're gonna do ice cream. Eventually we'll put this all together. Maybe, maybe we'll do like a ravioli. Maybe we'll do like a fancy, like pasta dough with like our homemade ricotta, and we'll do something like that. So stay tuned. Okay, so. It says 30 seconds to one minute, and I think we're, we're pretty much there. It looks good to me. It didn't take much. Okay, we're going to be using the mixer, but let me come over and show you guys this. All right. Can you guys see that? So it's got some lumps in it, right? That's the banana, but everything else looks pretty good, and it's really liquidy, okay? Sometimes it's hard to see with this. Uh, I, was, I was primping in the uh, video. Uh, I set everything up and I get it ready to go live, but I don't go live. Hopefully, I don't go live. And I print in the in the camera, so I'm like twisting my hair and stuff. And I'm like trying to get my bangs to go this way, and I said they're going the other way because it's opposite in the camera, and I can't figure it out. So hopefully, I'm not going live whenever I'm doing that because otherwise, well, you know, I'm kind of weird anyway. We discuss that. Okay, so now I'm going to add eggs one at a time until they're fully incorporated. Look at these. These aren't my eggs. Um, for my girls, but do you see how, like, can you see how orange those are? Free range. They're the best. All right, so I'm going to, again, not Martha Stewart. I'm going to try to get one in at a time. Perfect. And then we're going to incorporate that in, and we're going to do the same with the other egg. Um, and then we're going to add our starter. We need half a cup of bubbly, active, 100% 
hydration sourdough starter, which is what Georgie is. All right, so half a cup. I have a half a cup measuring right here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let me see. let me just check our comments here because this one isn't scrolling for me. Okay, good. We're good to go. All right, I'm going to add the other one. Perfect. Discard over there. What else you want to know? Is there anything I've left out so far? Uh, anybody want to tell me about their week? Yeah. The week was good. Got back on the tractor. I keep talking about that tractor. You'll see more pictures of that tractor soon. Okay. Now, uh, that looks pretty good. It looks the same. Um, just got some eggs in it. So, we're going to add our sourdough starter. See, this is why the kitchen setup's a little bit better because I would be working over here anyway, and you guys wouldn't know that I'm reading my recipe, right? But my secret's revealed. Okay. So, I'm going to give this guy like that. Yum. Okay. All right. There we go. Some of Georgie got on the uh, mixer. That's okay. Now, the one thing that you want to do after you have used um, like something with your sourdough starter, like your measuring cup, is get it in water immediately. Otherwise, it dries on there and it like really dries on there. And like it's hard to get off. Like it's not hard to get off. It's not like whenever I'm using beeswax or whatever, but it like it'll get hard on there. So, um, okay. So now, I've taken half a cup out of here. We're going to do this in a second, okay? I'm going to show you how to do the discard. Um, and I'm not even going to cover him back up because we're going to be using him in a second. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to get all of this off of here and down in there as best I can. While the silicone spatula, right? So I'm going to be using him in a second. All right. I'm just going to incorporate that. And then I'm, so all I've done here is I've, um, I have flour. Cinnamon. I added cinnamon. The um, let me check my comments. I wish this thing would scroll. Um, you're going to need to mow again. After. Yes. Well, you know that's not a problem for me, Samantha. I love mowing. It's funny though. Um, we were looking at the mister and I were looking at the yard and we're like, it's not that bad. Like it's okay. And so then finally, like it was dry enough because the tractor is so heavy that um, it. Um, will tear up the yard. So I drive the tractor, the mister or somebody else drives the zero turn and gets the close stuff and I do the, all the big stuff on the tractor. And um, after we were done, we're like, oh my goodness, the yard was so bad and we didn't even know. We didn't even know until we mowed and it looked so good. So yeah, I don't mind mowing. Okay, so I added cinnamon to this. The recipe doesn't call for it, but it just seems like I made this before. And I'm like, cinnamon sounds good. And that maybe would be good too. So, um, flour, baking soda, uh, salt, and cinnamon. And I've mixed it together. You're supposed to sift it, but sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes it's going to be a little denser and it's not going to be as fluffy. All right. No big deal. Okay. So now I'm going to scrape down this side because I have some sourdough still here on the side. And I'm going to make sure it gets down in there. But my next step is I'm going to add um, flour in um, steps, but I'm not alternating it with the liquid yet, okay? The liquid's going to go in at the end, and we're going to talk about that. How are we doing? Everybody good? So glad to see you guys. I love these Saturday morning things, and I'm happy whenever I have people joining me. It would be kind of a bummer if nobody joined me. If I was just standing here talking to myself, that would be kind of a bummer. All right, I feel good about this. Now, I'm klutzy. I'm not always the cleanest. So this is going to be very messy, kind of like my flour over here whenever I was trying to get the flour from the little cup into the uh, smaller container without a funnel. That's how we're going to do it this time, too. All right. You guys are like professionals, and so you guys are going to not make a big mess like me. So I'm not a professional. I'm just somebody who likes to share and to teach. So... I'll show you how not to do it, okay? We're just going to incorporate this in. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I didn't show you that after I did the sourdough and stuff. This looks really good. Like, it looks really good. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. But it's going to take it like an hour to cook. So, like, a loaf pan would take about an hour to cook. And then, um, like, if you did muffins or you just mini loaf pans, it's not going to take as long. You're just going to cook it. Um, I would start it at, like, 40 minutes. 
and then check it with a toothpick or a knife or whatever. Whenever that comes out clean, it's done. And you're going to cook it on, uh, bake it on 350. Okay. Let me show you what this looks like. It's still really runny because obviously we haven't added all of our stuff into it. But, oh, goodness. You see that? Yum, right? Okay, let me, uh, let me check. Uh, maybe. Oh, good, Lori, I'm glad to know that. I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who makes a huge mess. I just kind of feel like some people are just, you know, better at doing these kind of things, right? Just not making a huge mess. My, so my mom tells me that I'm a lot like my grandmother. I use every single, um, let me just go ahead. I'm going to add the rest of this. So I'm doing it in two batches. Um, you can certainly do it in less or more than that, but you definitely want to do it in more than one. Um, so my mom tells me I'm a lot like my grandmother in that I use everything and I make a huge mess. Uh, oh, the cleaner upper. Jeff makes a huge mess too. Sometimes I'm like, whenever I'm doing the cleaning, I'm like, how many spoons did you use? But then whenever I do it, whenever I'm cooking myself, you know, and I'm like, I look around, I'm like, oh, probably just as many as I did. Okay. So while this is going and incorporating, what we want to talk about next is our liquid. We have half a cup of oil, and I just use vegetable oil. Um, you just want something light because it's just going to, um, you don't want to take away from the flavor of the banana bread, right? So you just want something light. I was thinking I could have used the sunflower oil that I like so much. And a quarter cup of milk. And you're, I'm just going to, um, it's been sitting here for, you know, a little bit. So I'm just going to incorporate it like that. And don't forget, I use raw milk. So I use whole milk. Um, it doesn't specifically say what type of milk, like whole, skim, whatever. So use whatever you have. Okay. I'm going to add this in. Let me just check my recipe here just to make sure. Okay. So now you're not going to over combine this. I'm just going to add this in. Okay. Look, see, this is why I'm not really good at this. Okay. Let me just go ahead and I should have brought another silicone. Um, in here, but that's okay. All right, let me just finish this. You're going to, you're going to um, just till it's combined, okay? I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to use that. All right, let me just put this over here all the way. My non-professional kitchen here. Okay. I'm going to bring my muffin tin over. It's just combined. I'm going to do this. I'm going to scrape down the sides. I'm going to give it a little combining, final combine, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then we're going to pour it into our tins. We're going to set it aside. We're going to talk about Georgie again. And then we're going to be done, unless you guys have any questions. How are you guys doing? Hanging in there? I say this every week. It's kind of my thing, I guess. Everybody's hanging in there. Yeah, I'm just scraping down the sides, getting all of that stuff incorporated in. Scraping the bottom. You don't want to over mix it because it'll make it tough, okay? But you want to make sure it's combined because you don't want to bite into like a big thing of flour. Okay. You guys see this? It's still real liquidy, right? But it looks good. I can see the banana chunks in there. Let's give it a sniff test. Oh, oh this is so good. Okay. So I use spray. You can you, you can butter. Um, you can do whatever you want to, right? Um, I did these really big muffins because. It just looked good. As soon as I saw this muffin tin in the pan in the uh, pantry, I was like, yes, give it to me. Okay, we're going to pour these in there, and we're going to try to make them as even as we can, right? And then we're going to pretend like the oven is ready to go, which it is not, and we're going to put it in there, and we're going to cook it. And whenever they're done, I'm going to do a blog post, um, and I'm going to share my recipes, share my step-by-step -step with you. And then um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to keep you posted on how the new sourdough starter is going. And you guys are going to share with me what you're doing. Kim did that, I think. Right, Kim? I think you made the pie. And it came out beautiful. And I'm so excited. I love it when you guys share this stuff with me. Love it. Okay. Uh, let's see. i got a little bit left here. Let's just go ahead and try to. Oh, and see, I'm messy. Most, some people wouldn't uh, get that on the <laughs> on the pan, but whatever. Those are good little tidbits that you can eat whenever it comes out. Okay, give me just a second here. 
I know I don't like that downtime in between, but sometimes my brain just can't take doing like five things at once. Okay. All right, we're done. Those are going to go in the oven. Uh, 350. I'm going to start at 40 minutes. Um, and I'm going to check it from there. Okay. Now let's talk about, um, Georgie. Okay. So I fed Georgie last night, so he would be ready for this morning. Let me just see. If, I think I have, uh, yeah. What kind was it, Kim? I, I forgot to ask you what kind it was. It looks so good. So Kim did a pie after our pie class. Uh, was that last week? The week before? He's, I can't ever remember. Um, and she shared it with me. She shared it with all of us, actually, over on um, Facebook, on my on my page. So you guys should go look. And then I would love it if you guys um, shared that with me, okay? Um, if you do anything, I need this. Okay. I need that. All right. So technically, here's where you would um, weigh it out. I don't weigh it out. I'll get around my disc card, which doesn't have a name. And um, let me know if you guys don't want to make your own uh, sourdough starter and you want some of my discard, I'll be happy to give it to you, ship it to you, whatever. All right. Um, so I am just going to, oh, that's right. I needed the silicone spatula, but I, because I usually just take my silicone spatula and I go through here. There's not a ton left in there. I'm going to divide it and I'm going to see what happens. Okay. So. I'm just going to take my fork and I'm going to do like that and I'm going to try to gracefully, I'm not graceful, my grandmother's name was Grace though. All right, I'm just going to scooch some in here and until it looks like, yep, I think that's good actually. I'm pretty good with that. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. I don't want to take too much because I just use half a cup. Okay. So it doesn't even look like I'm taking any out, but you can see, I don't know if you can see the top of that. You can see him right here. The one I just took out. Okay. So this is going to go lid uh, back into the refrigerator until I'm ready to do something else with it. And let me just check my comments here. I hope you can tell this what kind of pie. Apple. Uh, Good. It was two weeks ago. Thank you. See, I need I need somebody to help me out here. Okay. Now, I always use all-purpose flour. Although I did experiment with this um, this week because I was getting him ready for you guys because I wanted him to make sure that you know he didn't have stage fright or anything. It's hard whenever you're doing this for, for the first time. You know, you're kind of like stage fright. So I didn't want him to have stage fright. So I actually experimented with him a little bit this week, and I think I used whole wheat flour to feed him. Um, just because I thought, you know, let's give the world. So that's what's in here is um, part of this is still whole wheat. Um, and I don't, he didn't do anything different. Like, he, you know, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. So use whatever you want. And remember at the beginning, I told you if you use, we use uh, less processed flour um, because we need um, that yeast from it. Okay. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, honey. She, Jennifer's joining us from Japan. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11. It's almost midnight there. Is that right? Oh, my goodness. You are the sweetest. Okay. We're just finishing up. Um, but I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put this on my blog. I'm going to put the whole video on the blog. The video will be saved to Facebook as well. And then I'm going to do, like, the recipes links to things, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, if you oversleep because it's midnight where you live and you can't make it, um, it'll be there for later. Okay. I'm going to measure out, you always measure out, um, your flour first. If you're using the same measuring cup, like I do, because you don't want water in here and then go into your flour. Okay. So I'm going to do a cup because I know Georgie likes a cup and I don't round it off. I just kind of do what I think looks good. You, you'll get used to it. They'll tell you. Here's to hoping we have enough water. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a half cup. Okay. Now, let me move the flour out of the way because you guys don't want to see the flour. You want to see what I'm doing. All right. Now, normally I have my silicone spatula, but I didn't think ahead. Um, if we were in the kitchen, I would have just grabbed another one. Oh, you didn't see that. You did not see that. Okay. All I'm doing 
is I'm stirring him around. Oh, he's everywhere too. He's all over the place. I'm just stirring him around much like we did the first, the first batch, right? You're going to see the difference though. Um, once it gets going, you're going to see the difference in how it just comes together better. Now the key with doing this, whenever you first start, whenever you're feeding it, the key is, is to make sure all that flour is incorporated, right? So that's all I'm doing. I'm going to come over. I see I have some more comments. I didn't scroll down. I'm a mess today, guys. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Okay. All right. Well, you're going to pretend like I'm not a mess, right? We're going to just say, eh, she's not a mess. Okay. Now, let me come over here. Let me look at my comments. And, uh, oh, don't ever apologize for being late. My no, goodness. No. For not showing up. That is A-OK. -okay. okay. Can you guys see this? See how liquidy this is? That's what you're looking for. But it's not overly liquidy, right? You'll know because it won't double. It'll just, once it starts like eating the yeast and stuff, you'll see it'll be really liquidy. But you see how this is kind of like a wet batter, right? It's like stretchy. That's what you're looking for, all right? And then you're going to let it rest. And you're going to cover it uh, either with your cheesecloth um, I just do a little bit of plastic wrap. The key is to let it breathe. It just it needs some room to breathe. Okay. So I just wadded up my uh, plastic wrap there. So let me. Um, I'm going to step off camera for just a second. We know how that's not really professional, but it's okay. Sometimes it happens. All right. I got this muslin again. I'm not going to. You know how I vented the plastic wrap because plastic wrap isn't isn't breathable, right? this is so let's give this a whirl and see how this goes now the only thing is i can't do that right because it's not gonna be able to breathe so you would have to like either do your lid to keep it on there you don't want anything getting in there or you can do like a rubber band okay so i'm going to find a rubber band i'm going to put it around there i'm going to put georgie back on top of the refrigerator and then tomorrow he is going to be ready to go 24 hours that's all it needs all right what questions do you guys have that is sourdough starter in a nutshell done chicken librarian way all right there's people out there oh i know what i'm going to do i'm going to send you um whenever i do the blog i'm going to put in a link to my friend ashley who i think is the uh, sourdough guru okay i know her from instagram um she's wonderful so i will give you a link to her stuff as well um and she will tell you the very technical way to do it and not the cheated cheating like you know Lazy Homestead or Chicken Librarian with. All right. That's about an hour for us. I honestly thought this was going to be 30 minutes because I'm like, it's going to take us two seconds to make the starter. And then what do I do? So we're making muffins. We've made a starter. We've talked about discard. We've uh, fed Georgie and we're good to go. All right. That's it. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will get that blog post up as soon as I can. I got to clean all this up. And then I'm going to go foraging today to see what I can find. Dandelions, there's wild violets. I think there's still some ramps. So I think I'm going to go do a little bit of foraging today. And so maybe tomorrow will be a work day for me. If you order pin cushions from me, there's, they're going to be out the door on Monday. All right. What else you got? I hope you guys are having fun. I miss you guys, though. Really. Honestly, I miss everybody. All right. My new friends, my old friends, my... Okay. Have a great day. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to I'm going to turn us off then. You guys just send me a message or an email or whatever if you have questions, you get stuck. Send me pictures or put, post pictures on Facebook of uh all the fun stuff you're doing. Okay? Sorry Jennifer, I know you were here for 10 minutes. Thank you for getting up though. All right. See you guys.